Hi guys, this is Sawyer Fernandez. I'm doing a Godzilla review. Um, I'm not only doing a, a review of toys, I'm also doing two movies, and one of the two movies is Godzilla. It's Ultraman. And um, let's get started. This first one right here is Ultraman, the complete series. No, it's just up here, please. And here's the back. Shows Ultraman and the Stude. I've only seen the first episode, so I can't believe it. Um, this is the Toho Godzilla collection. It has two movies in one. And it says, and it has Godzilla Tokyo SOS and Godzilla Final Wars. God, the Godzilla Final Wars reminds me of a toy series called Godzilla Vinyl Wars, which means Sofu be soft plastic. Um, let's get started with the toys. This right here, I have a miniature Gigan, and it has a lot of detail on it. It's probably because it's small, and on the big ones, they can't fit so much detail. Or it's the other way around, but it's really detailed. And it looks exactly like the actual movie. So that's Gigan, miniature Gigan. Next, I am moving on to King Caesar. King Caesar, I don't know what he's from, but he's one of my favorite Godzilla characters. Favorite. Like, I'd use him, play with him any day of the week or year. So that's. Season. Now we're going on to Ghidorah, the three-headed dragon. You can see on this, it's a bandai, and so was this. It says band. I'll show you bandai somewhere on there, and it's a bandai. And bandai are my favorites. I love them. So, here is King Ghidorah, and it's kind of cool how he doesn't have arms. I just watched the movie, like, a few weeks ago, so, uh, yeah. And I saw that he didn't have two arms. I used to think that he did have two arms, because I haven't seen the movie in a long time. So, I saw it, like, a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's King Ghidorah. Next, another one of my favorites is Mothra. See, he's got a little flying thing here. This Mothra, you can, if you can see here, it's a Bandai. See, the Bandai look alike. They're like so foopy. So foopy. Yeah, there's sofa be there. Soft plastic. They go in. Yeah, and that's really cool. So then this. My bad. This is not a Bandai. But this is definitely a Bandai and King Caesar. So, it's a really cool toy to have around, but if you can see, it's not the original markings from, like, the original movie. So, and I also learned that they had a plain, regular Mothra movie, and they had a few of them. And Mothra is one of my favorites because he's super cute. She, she has a little... Whatever you call them, and it turns into Mothra. Oh yeah, little thing. And oh, 
I love this one. Well, you can't see it fully. Mecha Godzilla. This one has so much detail to it. I mean, like, drawing the wires and, like, the plugs. It's so amazing. Like, in, instead of their, like, ideas of doing, like, just black around it for the stuff, they actually do the plugs and show, like, the, the little thingy there. It's, they actually show a little red thing there. It's, it's so amazing. I love the little spikes on its kneecap and this, if you can see, is like the newer, is the newest version of Mecha Godzilla. The original Mecha Godzilla, I say from the movies, I like better. I love, my favorite Mecha Godzilla is Mecha Godzilla 2. This is Mecha Godzilla 3. But I love Mecha Godzilla 2. It, it's better than Mecha, and then it goes to Mecha Godzilla this one, and then Mecha Godzilla 1. But I love Mecha Godzilla 2. It's awesome. And this one, I always pretend that these things right here go out. And then, like, grab Godzilla to come near him. And the next one I'm doing fights this one. I usually used to fight this one. So, that's Mecha Godzilla. Okay, now I gotta just get something. And this is the one I used to fight my Mecha Godzilla. It, um, this is one of my favorites. It's, uh, I sometimes use it as my baby Godzilla because, um, I saw the Godzilla vs. Destroyer movie and, uh, baby Godzilla is an adult. And Mickey from that movie is like has a sad song. It's like so weird, cheesy, whatever you call it. And uh, this is my one of my personal favorites. Like, love it. So that was my Godzilla Final Wars. If I didn't mention it's from Final Wars. <laughs> Now I'm moving on to one of my vinyl wars that's also a Sophie B. And it's Rodan. And so if you can tell, um, it is really awesome. I had to pay for this one, and I had $100. I gave up 50 bucks for this toy. 50 bucks, man. Literally, 50 bucks for this toy. And it is so amazing how they do the colors on it. And if you just want to... See it for a second. Get close. Oh, I can't see it up close. Well, this is as, as up close it can get. And that's it for Rodan. Another vinyl war of mine. I have another vinyl war after this. Is the green. 1970 something Godzilla. This is like an awesome one. And I really wish I had the Vinyl Wars Mecha Godzilla. The first one that is in my third place for Mecha Godzilla. I really wish I had it. And the third place I like a lot. I mean, 
it's not last place of all the gods of the toys I I want. It's like it's a good one. I I want it, and I don't have. Sadly, I don't have Mecha Gods. But this one, it's really amazing how they do it. And if you want to compare it to me, it's like this. It's this big. So it's a big figure. And it has lots of detail on it. And if you can see on the foot, it has Japanese writing. And on the other one, it says Marmot 19. Oh, this is 19. 1997 so this toy was made in 1997 90s okay so that's it for our marmot godzilla i th thought he was well he is a vinyl yes another one of my favorites is another vinyl wars and it is Godzilla, I believe. It is... Um, yes, I believe this is... Uh, the... Godzilla... 19 something something I don't know the year this came out and it is one I think it reminds me of I just can't get the name and it has blue and red which I don't get but that's what makes it really cool and this right here is a great toy of mine my grandparents got me it for Christmas Eve.